in spite of hesitation at the political level, in spite of uh, dilly-dallying at the TRAI level, this problem has been resolved quite conclusively, and I do believe that this is going to be a very big deal for the sector. Now, there is a level of transparency that existed in other aspects of the sector, but not in spectrum allocation, which now willy-nilly will have to happen. And I think this is something that all serious investors would welcome. Okay, you see that as a positive, but there will be investors today, uh, uh, Siddharth, who will look at this judgment and say the Telenor type of situation, who will say, we don't want to come into India anymore. We don't know what's going on on the ground. We don't know that a whether a Supreme Court will strike down a, per a, a, a legal contract. Do you believe there is that feeling also today there within business, as some are suggesting? Absolutely right. In fact, three words to summarize this. Impact on lender, impact on vendor, and impact on investor. That's the way to look at it. And beyond the legality and beyond the politics of it, there are clear losers who had nothing to do with whatever happened between a few set of people in the, uh, in the DOT on the 10th of January, including some people being pushed out and some people actually being put uh, uh, first in the line. I don't agree with the uh, statement that Mahesh said with all respect about relief, because fundamental to this judgment are two other points which have not come up so far. The broad sweeping setting aside of first come first served, that's a bad word for telecom, but that's something that's been done in most other sectors, including the textile sector where the entire textile upgradation fund scheme is first come first served. So I don't think there's relief because if you look at the base numbers, if you use 2001 prices per megahertz of 2G to calculate, you're talking about 540 megahertz. I spoke to TRA chairman. He said it's going to be more than 250 crores. Even at 250, we are talking about 1 lakh crore for the government. If it's going to come, as the judgment says, distribution of national assets between people, that payment is going to come from you and me through call tariffs. This is something that I've always maintained. So Despite you're saying for the customer, call tariffs will automatically absolutely rise Absolutely, Rajdeep. Last uh, six months, they've gone up 30%. Let no one fool anyone here about the fact that you charge companies and they'll get money from God. That's not you know, the real world. You make an important point. Gopal Jain, do you also see that happening? As someone who, uh, who appears for various telecom companies, do you believe that uh, call tariffs will rise? Rati, we have to see this in its correct perspective. Firstly, India has had the lowest mobile tariffs in the world and, and the telecom when revolution, the dollars, mobile revolution did that, bring in an afford, affordable service. Now, there has been a general increase and therefore there could be a possibility that the tariffs increase. But there's a very important point which this debate has missed, which is the role of the regulator. The no. government decision is based on what we call a recommendation of the regulator. The Supreme Court has torn it to shreds and said not only was it flawed, but it was contrary to the government policy, which is NTP 99. And right. this divergence between policy and regulation actually has a huge impact on uncertainty and brings in lack of clarity and lack of stability. And that's the root problem. So government should actually come up with a very clear policy which provides a healing touch and a way forward. You know, uh, which addresses the various constituencies including consumers and subscribers, most importantly foreign investors as well. And that will set the right trend will, and the right will direction the consumer benefit to go or not? forward in implementing the Supreme Court. Yes, I think the Siddhar consumer Zarabi has benefited and will continue. The, Siddharth Zarabi seems to suggest that no, Rajiv, consumer Rajiv, no Rajiv, longer benefit. Many, no, Rajiv, just let me... No, let me just finish. Yes. You see, the fact was most of these licensees had not rolled out a service. So therefore, as the TRI chairman also said, it's not going to have an impact on the consumer. Okay. We already have 8 or 10 uh, service providers in every circle in India. No, no, the so there is a large degree of competition 30 already. That, so uh, Gopal, Gopal, the numbers don't go, and not Gopal, the numbers speaking. don't count up. Sorry to yes. interrupt you. The numbers don't count up. Even with uh, very low rollouts by all these operators, you had the tariffs increasing by 30%. Stated fact, you suck out 122. This is not a defense of these 122. You suck out 122, you impose a burden of 50,000, 1 lakh crore on existing telcos who are spectrum starved, which Mr. Raja denied spectrum all these years. You end up making them pay. That is basic economics. That is why 3G has failed Absolutely. in India. Let's okay. not fool us. Uh, okay. Uh, there, you, know, yes. you know, you know it, it, it's like once again, that huge elephant in the room and the six not so wise men of Hindustan are choosing to touch a particular part of that elephant and decide on what it is. Let's look at a few facts. What the TRI chairman said, you have 900 million telephone subscribers in this country. Okay, 60 million have been affected, correct? 
That's how much? 5%, 6%, right? Some of them can have move. They and can and move, yes. Right? Second point. You are saying, and I'm, I'm going by what's that thing. Yes. In the last year, 20% of the tariffs went up. There was no cancellation of licenses, but 20% uh, hike in tariffs. That's already happened. Third point, I, I think this whole thing at what Gopal has said about the role of the TRAI. Here you have a regulator, here you have a government regulator, and this is what the Supreme Court has to say. Let me read out yes. one sentence. To say the least, the entire approach of the TRAI was lopsided and contrary to the decision taken by the Council of Ministers. And its recommendations, it goes on to say, became a handle for Mr. Raja and the officers of the DOT who virtually gifted away an important national asset at throwaway prices. Point two. Look, you are saying that if you had not given Spectrum at a cheap price, at a so-called throwaway price, you wouldn't have had cheap tariffs. I mean, let's 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 get a certain perspective. No, but isn't that world. true? Isn't that partly true, Mahesh? If we now go down the auction route, and we are seeing that with 3G and 4G, will it be as successful as first come, first serve in a country like India? There's that question which is being asked. It, no. it, you know, and it is a... It, it, I think one other point. You, Pahinja, you don't agree with no, that no, I, I don't agree. And, and what, what are you talking about? First come, first serve. Yeah, okay, textiles, mines. You are selling a scarce finite national national natural resource why one, minute, one, minute, one, minute, one, one minute one minute one minute one minute one minute since 1994 one minute to that. you waved out operators in 1999 you waved off 1,50,000 crore out those prices Two wrongs do not make no, a right. One then a wrong no, cannot, cannot assume a wrong cannot so lead to a situation where you say that national assets should be priced at market pricing in a country one where 400 minute. people don't get three square meals. One meals. minute. Let's get one on minute. With, uh, one straight minute. with one that. Minute. Again, again, Very you right. are mixing a if whole This is not a defense of the two one 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 operators. One by one. one, by one you, you are here saying first come, first serve. You are allocating spectrum in the way you sell cinema tickets. And Wait, you don't even follow that first come no. first serve system? No, there was an illegality it? in allotment of first come first serve that did not, not till today Siddharth, question the first the come first serve. That's an interesting the, argument. The, 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 hold on, let, yeah. Mahesh, uh, let, let Mahesh give us a third Please. perspective. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mahesh. No. Do, do, you know, are, are we reaching the stage where we are throwing the baby out with the bathwater essentially as a result of today's judgment? Not at all. Two things. One no. is... With the bathwater. Yeah. Just, bath just a minute, Chris. Yes, Mahesh. One very simple point is the demand for spectrum far exceeds supply. Yes. And I challenge anybody to tell me that there is another transparent way of doing this. Now, they may... No, no, no. The 3G let auction me saying me. that it was well, well, designed to get only no, the no, government's no, no, money. No, yeah. no, 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 no. That's yes. it. Okay. The 3G, no, no, just a minute. Yes. 3G difficulties that Siddharth refers to have nothing to do with the price of 3G. It has many other issues, but the price of 3G has not been affected by the huge license fees. And the government is not owed a penny from 3G auctions. But th the point is not about auctions. The point is about designing the right kind of auctions. There is no reason why every auction should lead to the kind of problems that uh, Siddharth okay, is... Okay, 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 let's, no, let's, no, no, let it does just, not say you that. Know, that I, I, you know, we, we, no, no. The allocation auction as was done for allocation of spectrum in 3G band. No, no, there is a okay, difference. Well, well, Mahesh, no, that's what the order no, says. No, let me, is, that, Mahesh, just uh, hold yeah. on a minute. Because I think one of the points which needs to be made before we are concluding this debate is that we have entered an era of 3G and 4G. There is a general perception that 3G has not, that 2G was extremely successful. Mr. Raja has also repeatedly made this argument that yeah. at the end of the day, 2G was successful. It was seen as a, I come back to it as, as a symbol of, of emerging India, companies doing well, uh, 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 mobiles freely available to a large population. Suel said, has that changed as a result of today? Will that change as a result of today? In a general sense for corporate India, will they now think twice before investing in the telecom sector? No, will, I don't know because I'm not yet Bejan Daruwala, so I can't predict the future. Yes. But in contemporary terms, it has. I mean, the fact that you're spending so much of airtime with six wise men, including the elephant in the room, is testimony to that. The reality is not 3G, 4G. The tragedy is when India is ready for 5G, we will still be raking up the ghosts, perhaps for all the right reasons, of 2G. Right. The reality, as Foranjoy mentioned in the Supreme Court's judgment, is... The regulator in India is willing to crawl when asked to walk because of political influence and because of political interference. 
the fact that retired bureaucrats want posturing will they will always succumb to some form of pressure or the other i'm equally delighted that we have an independent cbi director we right. have an independent cbc and we have a magnificent supreme court if it weren't for these three institutions this country would have been sold without an auction Hold on. a long time ago okay, that's I'm, the I'm, reality I'm, okay, so I'm let's gonna, not beat around the bush i'm, I'm going to ask it. and siddharth's point siddharth's analysis about the telecom sector yes. is bang on right it is going to increase pricing because we are marketing people we don't have the luxury of sitting on in television studios alone it will drive prices up it will create monopolistic regimes and what's worse it will create hidden costs in in what you would okay. and i would call vast uh, point so taken so, so, so well, I, I, i'm running out of time i want to just give 15 seconds to each of you to tell us the big lesson perhaps that the that the industry has to learn uh, uh, from what's happened today gopal jain you go first what's the big lesson you believe industry will learn well i think the most important lesson to be learned is that you know you've got to make sure that policy and regulation are aligned you've got to make sure that your due diligence is very good and most True. importantly you've got to make sure that industry as a whole speaks in one voice for right. best practices the slight interplay between the industry itself actually right. has you know made them a casualty okay. so i think lo looking Point. forward the supreme court has given a road map it's now a question that all stakeholders must ensure smooth implementation right. of this road map which has been given siddharth zarabi what's the big lesson perhaps for a future telecom minister what's the big lesson that kapil sibal must learn today 15 seconds entire council of ministers leave pricing of natural resources to economists and let the government decide not anyone else okay Very that's right. that's spoken Very right. in a, in sharply mayesh upal for the telecom sector again what's the big lesson i think the chronic capitalism will come back to haunt you that you really have to invest yes. in best practices and if you don't uh, you're going to create the kind of uncertainties in which politicians bureaucrats besides uh, besides corporates themselves thrive okay for the system itself since paranja you've been looking at uh, you're the elephant in the room as we'll call you <laughs> for the system itself what is the big lesson what's the what's the takeaway for for all the for all the stakeholders as a result of what the supreme court has said you need transparency you have need accountability <laughs> you cannot have a rogue minister saying that i can get away with anything he is also has a That's boss it. second point and, and and the boss can't say that the rogue minister got that, away with that, it that, and that, i'm not responsible and that i was i turned a blind eye to what was going That's on true. yes you you have to curb this corrupt nexus between business and politics yes there's going to be a terrible shake out yes things are going to be a messy in the short run but in the long run the government has an opportunity to clean up this mess to have a transparent fair system which will be good for brand india it will be good for foreign investors it will be good for the aam aadmi as well paranjoy goa thakur ta mahesh upal siddharth zarabi gopal jain Suel no, no, said appreciate but my 15 seconds. Well, you, you you we've run out of time so I'll say that's what I, I think no no one minute. Yes. I'm optimistic and I think this judgment will tell people that you might be corrupt in the short term but in the long term you will get caught. Okay. So I think there's a, an abiding lesson. Okay.